Oof. All right. Greetings, welcome once and all to the first Heart Space Shipbreaker that is not on the weekend. <laughs> For that. <laughs> Ah, uh, welcome. Welcome to Hard Space Shipbreaker. My name is Vilkata, and uh, today we are picking up where we left off on Hard Space. You know, we normally do this on a weekend, uh, but our our weekend stream is our our regular stream, and right now our regular series is Tortuga. And uh, I just missed this game so much that I had to bring it. Bring it in on our, our, our midweek stream instead. <laughs> uh, hey, Charmer. Yeah, Gavin. Good seeing you, Ken. Good seeing you. Uh, yeah, I, so right, my, my, my midweek kind of surprise streams lately have been Keystone. Uh, which doesn't really seem to be garnering much interest. <laughs> uh, I was going to do it anyway, but I was like, you know what? I miss Sharp Shipbreaker. I haven't played it in a while. You know, we were talking about it on the last stream. How uh, how we haven't seen it in a while. I thought, you know what? Let's bring it back. Technically, we're not done yet with it. Um, because we still haven't found all of our posters. <laughs> I thought, you know what? This would be... It was a good excuse. That, you know, us having Tortuga as our, our new uh, mainstream was a, a good excuse to play this uh, and a midweek thing. So, uh, I'm excited to, to, to start playing it again. Um, I'm a little distracted here at the moment because OBS forgot a bunch of stuff and I was scrambling to get him set up like my webcam. Something happened with OBS and it forgot my webcam, I think, on all of my. Uh, I'm starting to guess on all of my live streams. This webcam is just missing. So uh, my picture is going to disappear real quick. Give me a second here. I'm just checking something on the other. Something updated. I'm thinking it's something driver related updated. Ow. related to my webcam and my operating system and OBS no longer saw the old one thing. But for some reason even the window that it was attached to is missing. So uh, this is a new webcam setup. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so professional here. Um, There we go, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think we have two missing posters, Charmer. Um, at least two missing posters. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. We're going to be at one, one billion credits in, in the positive. I guess we are, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Um... We have two posters that we're still missing. We're missing one of the uh, pinup girls and um, the uh, the, un the the union poster. That's not the union poster. The the poster that's been defaced to be a union poster. We have the defaced version. We don't have the the non defaced version. And again, as far as I'm aware, both of those posters still exist in the game. I apologize if my voice sounds a little rough. Um, I've been... Uh, I don't know how to put it. Uh, I'm a little, a little exhausted. Work has been demanding. And... Uh, Good morning, Shipbreaker. Please enjoy the following inspirational message. Just exhausted in general. Happiness. happiness is the key to success. I can, I can feel it in my throat. If you love what you do, <clears throat> you will be successful. Me, I saw my voice on fever. 
Uh, so let me know if there's any problems with the audio or uh, uh, sound weird or anything. Also, one thing real quick like. Uh, I know I'm off screen. Give me just a moment. So, uh, <laughs> how is everybody here? Uh, middle of the week. Wait, is it middle of the week? Oh, um, what is today? Tuesday? I'm on this weird rotating schedule now. Yeah, I'm on... <laughs> like, I, you know, with, with what I'm doing now, work-related, my schedule, of course, rotates. So, which is why I couldn't, couldn't live stream on the weekend. I will be able to live stream this weekend. Uh, and I'm literally just just tracking, you know, the days relative to uh, when I have to work next versus what day it actually is in the world. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, uh, let me know if if uh, the stream struggles here over the next couple of minutes. A little under the weather, as you say, in the UK. I, I don't know if I'm under the weather. It's like I'm not sick. Like somehow, somehow I have not gotten sick from all my exposure to other people. Uh, but uh, I've always had a real strong immune system, so... knows what I've been exposed to you know being isolated and during the pandemic and 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 all that I didn't have a lot of exposure to just people and regular germs for a while uh, so it's amazing that I haven't gotten sick uh, yet uh, with either COVID or something else you know I'm just, it's just I'm just physically exhausted from being a geek sitting in my desk all the time to being someone who's being very, very active for 12 plus hours a day. So here's uh, here's the poster that we need, the, the one that's not defaced. Uh, hey there, Jake. Welcome back. See, my, my alternate... My alternate secret uh, incentive to doing hard space this this afternoon was to catch how many of you guys actually see that my streams go up. Because uh, when I first showed off, um, when I first showed off Keystone, all you guys showed up. You're like, oh yeah, we're well next week. We'll, when you stream, we're gonna all join in. And then no one showed up. I'm like, hmm, did they not see the stream? I put something tantalizing out there, like heart space, and everyone shows up. <laughs> I don't know, it's so good to see you guys. I, I'm so I'm so glad that uh, I'm so glad that, that I mean I can already see the numbers picking back up. I'm so glad to see there's still interest in heart space because I love this game so much and I'm so excited to, to, to play it more. Uh, and I'm glad to see that other people are still interested in seeing it. Uh, because it's going to give me more of an excuse to kind of revive it. So, uh, um, I'm so very glad. Well, you know, when I, I joke about, you know, using this to trap people to, to see who's, uh, who's actually paying attention. Um, I joke about that. It, you know, it's easy to sound like I'm, I'm being passive-aggressive about, all right, you guys said you're gonna show up, and you didn't show. I don't mean. I do not mean that at all. Um, so I hope that no one takes it that way. 
Uh, it's uh, it's all in jest. Um, so we haven't played this in ages. So I think we're definitely going to start off with a macro. Uh, it looks like the macro it's going to give us is just going to be the station hopper because it's all I see in here. I mean, we're not going to do that. We are not reviving this series in, a, in an Exo Lab. Uh, I almost feel like I should have watched my own tutorials but <laughs> before starting it. <laughs> before starting this up again. Uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, no, I'm just still throw, I'll still throw the seal, guys. Um, and, and, uh, and definitely welcome back. Uh, so we're going to start off with a mackerel. Uh, we're going to see just how much of my muscle memory I've lost from playing other games for all this time and not playing Heart Space. Because, you know, I, I say it every time, but this playthrough is exclusive to live streams. I have not played this game without you guys present. Uh, so I don't. I have not been practicing off stream. I, I don't think they ever added the ability for us to have multiple profiles, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, okay, so uh, lights. Okay, that's lights. Um, I don't know why. What's, what's that button? Okay, that's my arm. <laughs> where, where did I put the? Okay, there's the camera. <laughs> the hell. Um. Let's see. Uh, switch, switch tools. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Um. Credits awarded. How do I switch to? There, okay, there's that button. That's how I get my demo charges. <laughs> no, we are, we are, we're professional here. We're not butchering anything. This is gonna this is gonna go smoothly. Um. Watch that again. All right. Um. All right, these are my, my spinning around controls. Um, nothing else on the exterior. All right, I think we just, I think we go in, right? We, we stop stripping, oh, wait a minute. Is there a front cage thing that we need to, need to break? Uh, I don't think so, I think that's a decorative. All right, we have an aluminum panel. Yeah, I think we gotta we gotta go through this step by step. Oh. Airlock depressurizing. Salvage secured. Applying credit. <laughs> right. Yeah. There's no. There's no space fish for me to, to be sorry about. Maybe if I if I accidentally uh, send something into the furnace, I'll sorry. Yeah, this Subnautica run was so I I'm so glad we did Subnautica. It was so much fun. It was so good to see that game again. I was I was sorry to end that stream. I just, I, I could have kept playing. I could have played indefinitely in that world. But level. there was literally nothing for us to do, you know. We, which is fine, because it's, you know, it's not meant to be... It's... It's an RPG, you know, story-driven kind of RPG. Uh, masquerading as a, as a open-world game, because it's not really open-world. Which is perfectly fine. It's a story. It's a story game. Uh, but since it's not a true over, uh, open world game. It just masquerades as one. There isn't really infinite running around doing in it. You, there is a goal, and that's that. So we could. We really could only stretch it so far. Uh, of doing stuff that wasn't related to the, you know, the core purpose of the game. 
Why is there a light that's floating? Aren't those supposed to be attached to things? Uh, but getting to play through uh, Subnautica again was just phenomenal. Getting, getting to play through it with all you guys was even better. I pulled it off the roof, did I really? Oh. <laughs> I'm on auto. Uh, that's a, I mean, it's a good sign, right? I mean, it's not a good sign that my memory is that short, but it's a good sign that at least I'm. I, some of the things I'm doing, I'm doing automatically. Still, my instinct. Salvage accepted. A double seat. Full seat. Bye. It's a barge item. Hold off the aluminum panel, right? Transferring credit. We're good on tethers. We're good on tethers. All right. I think we can start mass pulling. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Hopefully, we won't take uh, like four shifts to get through mackerel. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Valuable object accepted for processing. I'm having, like, for some reason, some of these I'm, I'm looking at, I'm like, Salvage I have deposited. to... Apply it's not, it's, to it's not entirely instinct on some of these floating items that they all need to go to the barge. I keep feeling like... No, that should go somewhere else. And I'm looking at it. No, no, that's the barge item too. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. This is a uh, this is a station hopper. It's not one of the uh, one of the ships that's full of garbage that doesn't go to the barge. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Blow anything up yet? This is a good start. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Processing valuable deposit. Besides being able to no, uh, to nominate individual tethers to, to break instead of them all, uh, what feature does the next H HSSB chapter need? <laughs> Obviously, you've been paying attention because you know that one of my one of my biggest requests has been to uh, to be able to individually uh, break tethers. Uh, I mean, mostly it's related to ship size, right? Um, you know, a larger bay, larger bay to have bigger ships. Uh, I think it's really a big off wall. We deep pressure. That's nice. Um, Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. We need to off the back. 
you know, there's other things that there that are would be nice, but don't have to be like being able to customize which which bay is which. Uh, I also think that straightening out the bay so that the furnaces aren't closer in the in the back. That doesn't go to the barge. I don't really think of I don't really think of those as new features. Those are tweaks on existing things. Um, Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. I have to think. I have to remember what what criticisms I had. Not many, because the game was so good. Like the I don't I'm not gonna clamor for multiplayer. I mean, I do think that, you know, there could be fun in multiplayer. But I think that the game design would suffer from trying to shoehorn multiplayer into it. Cutter? Got about five minutes That's kind of a pet peeve left. of mine. You know, I, when we play good games, you know, inventive good games like like Heart Space, which is, you know, a really phenomenal game. And you go to the forums and it's just post after post of when when are we getting multiplayer? When are we getting multiplayer? When are we getting multiplayer? This game sucks, it doesn't multiplayer. Like No. <laughs> single player there there's a fundamental difference between single player and multiplayer games. And it comes down to kind of story that it can tell. And Salvage deposit secured. Some games Credit suffer awarded. for trying to shoehorn multiplayer into them. Rewards allocated. Um, you know, like I've talked about uh, playing Vault Hunters, which is, you know, the mod for... Uh, Or Minecraft, and I've stopped playing it. I I, I still actively watch it because it's a fun mod. Uh, but I've stopped playing it because it's every every major update, and they are very actively uh, working on it. But every major update for the past like couple of months have largely been uh, significant nerfs to the game because it's a multi it's there are multiplayer servers and so all the things that brought me to the game the changes they had made to make it more accessible to single player uh, players are getting wildly nerfed or, or, or changed because people who are playing it multiplayer are abusing systems that you know were meant to be challenging for single player and they're not taking into consideration that people are still playing it single player and so all the great single player stuff is getting just completely wrecked because people who are playing a multiple multiplayer are, are getting away with stuff that or trivializing stuff that uh, multi that single player would find challenging and it's gotten to the point to where I just I don't want to play it anymore because they're not they're not differentiating between multiplayer and single player you know and multiplayer is ruining that game Burning it fast. Oh, lock us to pressure. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> I did notice it at one point, but it was it was out of mind. Uh, and you're right, because if I kept cutting, it would it would have gone off. So you you're absolutely right. I would have got caught there. Credit applied. Thanks for reminding me. 
I didn't depressure when, when I saw that it was pressurized earlier. I didn't depressurize it because I was thinking about closing, you know, cutting out the door. Uh, and I forgot all about it. So yeah. Thanks, Kevin. There, there was definitely going to be an uncontrolled depressurization event in my very, ne very near future, and I would have been completely caught off guard by it. Yeah, I'm scared about cutting straight across because I can't tell if there's any things that go boom behind it. Okay, there we go. There we go. We, we got our access to the interior. Woo! Zero percent destroyed so far. I'm, I'm, I can feel myself going very slow. I mean, we always, we always take our time and are methodical anyway, but... I'm finding myself uncertain and hesitating. So thanks to my new sleep schedule, because I'm working nights, uh, I didn't have time to go out and get my, my my usual sandwich that I give before the stream. I got my drink yesterday at a time. I probably shouldn't show this on camera. This is what I'm eating for breakfast. It's an apple pie. The life of a bachelor. I can get away with doing stuff like this. Hello, Shipbreaker 9346-52. Links would like to share the following inspirational message. Open, an, you, open a, 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 an apple pie and eat it straight from a tent. Every morning and make it happen. It's good. <laughs> I don't normally do that, but it's a small indulgence. Had a rough week. <laughs> and uh, I, I went to the grocery store yesterday to restock on supplies. And I was like, you know what? I want to indulge something. I'm like, hmm, pie. I like pie. Pretty sure this whole thing is... Read up? It is? Good. Stay away from the furnace, right? All right. Fuel tank that's the weight of an asteroid. We have another purple cube somewhere because all those are still lit up. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. All right, how was it we did this? I think we left that cut point. Oh, um, to the the 
question earlier about what an expansion or part two needs to have. Critically, it needs to not have cut points. These need to go away. Um, one of my one of my biggest annoyances about late game development of, of hard space is that it became cut by numbers. You know, in an early, early access, there were not cut points everywhere. You actually had to analyze the ship and decide where to cut and come up with your own strategies. Now the ships are pretty much 100% cut by numbers. I mean, we still have our strategies, but uh, there's way too much hand-holding with, with the colored cut points. I mean, I would just... I would just settle for no cut points. Processing object. Applying credits to account. I mean, there's going to be... There's going to be cut points, like, like those yellow things would still be there, but they wouldn't be yellow cut points. They would just be aluminum bars. And we could decide that that's where we wanted to cut. Or we could try to cut somewhere else. Like maybe that whole bar would be aluminum and would be cuttable. And so we could decide how we want to cut things up to, uh, to release it. You know, there, we wouldn't be able to. We wouldn't be able to get completely cut point free, just out of the logic of how a ship is put together. That's fine. But uh, you need to make those decisions yourself. And there were fewer pre-arranged cut points before, but they took away. Added those yellow bars instead. A little unfortunate. I think we. I think the game suffered for it. Yeah, I think that's that's one of the big things I would change. Like the cut points are fine on a tutorial ship. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. And they could have tutorial versions of the ships. Which they already kind of do, right? The low All hazard ship. Low, low, low hazard Credit versions of these ships are, are essentially uh, tutorial ships. Oh, I didn't think that out. I just wanted to turn it so I could grab it without it grabbing the panel. I skewed the whole ship, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Processor deposit accepted. Quite yeah, exactly. Give give the give the player more freedom to, to butcher the carcass. Um, and just less hand holding. I mean, they do a pretty good job of of ramping up difficulty in this game with the hazard system. So the curve, the learning curve, is already there. They, they, I think they did a good job on that. Salvage secured. Applying credit. But I mean, if you're if you're rank nine, if you know if you're if you're on hazard level nine ships. And you still need the yellow cut points to, to to dismantle a ship, then you haven't learned the game. You've just you've just mindlessly followed the the, the cut by numbers. Let me through, please. Rewards allocated. This doesn't encourage you to learn what you're doing. This encourages you just to follow the lines.
And there are other tweaks I would make, but I wouldn't count Warning. them as... Fuel levels are critical. Return to the master uh, jack to purchase supplies. Needing to be a part two feature. <laughs> You know, like I've always said, like I would, I would penalize the player more for sending things in places they don't, go, they don't belong, just to make it not profitable to dunk an entire ship on the barge and walk away from it. They don't need, you know, they don't need to make it uh, so aggressive and brutal that that you have to 100% the ship to make a profit. I don't expect people to be as delicate as I am. But I mean, like, like there could be a, it could be a percentage thing. If you fail by a certain percentage due to sending things in the wrong place. Credits awarded. Oh, let's go get fuel. I saw a fuel canister inside, but I think it was... I think it was a... Uh, depleted. Yeah. Like, um... Oh, hello there. Like they've they've demonstrated that they know they know if something goes to the barge that doesn't belong there, and they know if a barge item is attached to something that doesn't belong on the barge. Because when we're playing when we're on ghost ships, if there's a if there's a uh, a AI node attached to something that goes to the barge, it will not credit the item on the barge. Plus, it knows if an item is attached, right? Because you have the whole function of detaching an item. So, they, they simple, just, I mean, that would be a simple, easy fix. If a barge item is attached to something that's not a barge item, Salvage don't credit the barge item. Transferring credit. People who dunk an entire ship onto the onto the barge would still have to go through and dismantle everything. <laughs> Account credit applied. But those are tweaks. Those aren't, you know, I don't consider that a, a, a part two or expansion good. feature. Good. Oh. But uh, salvage accepted. Removing credit the cut points, applied. I think, would be a, a part two feature. Please get out of the way so I can send stuff into the processor. Is that going to bounce in? Yes. Uh, five minutes. Valuable object process. Credit awarded. Pretty sure this is supposed to be a two shift ship. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Um, furnace mounting plate. Additional rewards assigned. All the lights are out. Yes, they are. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Got the hard. I was I was pulling down so far hard it could have broke off and slammed into the side. I gotta, I gotta get in a zone. I don't think I can do this in three minutes. Let's see here, because we have to cut out. deposit registered. Account credited. The uh. Housing is still too heavy to turn.
Let's cancel this tether. No, that guy is not. Oh, 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 don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. We'll end up processed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure in our entire run we have not gotten killed by the furnace or the processor. That would be shameful to end up getting getting killed on our, our restart here. It's something like that. Get moving, get moving, get moving. Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. I don't think that can. No, I definitely can't get this done in a minute and a half. Just because of how unreliable it is to this man, you know, get this one off of the. Let's just get this out of the way. This is what's going to make it take too long. Let's get it. Lots of cutting to get this free. And it's still not free. Still not free. I'll take the whole ship with you. Oh, let's cancel tethers. <sighs> you know, by the time we got back over to it, it all the whole thing would be into the processor. In ending up process makes you uh, imagine bits of bits of our cutter would end up in the, the the food packs. Yeah, I you know I wouldn't be surprised at all. How about a new tool? A, a, a grab clamp uses magnets. Uses magnets around the bay to, to lock certain uh, pieces in place. I'm not sure. You mean like like uh, Hello, like using a tether just to lock something into into place so it doesn't get dragged? Message. The last ten percent of a job takes as much energy as the first ninety percent, which is why it's so important to always give one hundred and ten percent. Yeah, Link's nothing wasted. Not even our cutters. Technology sticker. All right, let's see where this this bad boy is stuck. Still attached. See, so I knew this is what was going to cause this because it's got that phantom attachment going on. It 
See, like problems like this, I'm, I'm not listing in what part two or, or DLC needs because this is just, these are engine issues. Obviously there are things that we'd like to see fixed, but it's not a design thing, it's an engine thing. There we go. And I, I appreciate that there were some pretty significant challenges to get this game to work as well as it does. Which makes me, you know, makes me marvel and appreciate it that much more. Because they did an incredible job. I think we got everything. That was an aluminum. I'm not going to cut the door out. Material accepted. Credits transferred. Oh, so <clears throat> you said so like into tethers that are placeable in, in uh, limpets you need to collect that don't go into the barge. So I mean, there there are things that you would place and then you'd have to take back off. Yeah, no, I could see something like that, right? Something that you know, saying I don't want the ship because because there are times that we were like you know we move the ship and we don't mean to. Uh, where it would be nice if we could lock it into place. But I think that's more of an an engine limitation. You know, with the problem that we have with like light objects moving heavy objects. Most of the time, I don't think we would run into the problems we run into if that wasn't an engine issue. Because we we wouldn't, our, the heavy objects, you know, like the bulk of the, the ship. Mostly that's the problem, right, is... The ship gets gets all askew under a circumstance where it its mass would prevent that from happening in the first place. Oh. So that you know that would basically be be a tool that would be trying to counter that, and that's a limitation I think with the engine. I'm not sure how they'd implement that. By the way, I think we're done here. All right, 99.1%. It took a little bit extra of a shift to get it, but that's all right. Cutter 52 can get a can get a, a day off. I have to be real careful not to eat that entire pie while I'm sitting here. <laughs> Good morning, ship breaker. Lynx mandates a maximum of eight. Uh, let me, thank you. Hours of sleep. Any extra sleep time will be docked from the next pay cycle. That was a weird stutter in the game there. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you're saying you would lock the physics, I, then maybe, maybe that's something they could do. I, I feel like that's running into, why didn't they do that, prevent small objects from moving heavy objects? And did they just not do it because it would be more challenging? Or, uh... Where did we have the cam before? Like I said, the, my old camera setup is missing. 
Um, is there anything? Was it up here? I'd have to watch one of the old videos to know where the camera used to be. Like I said, the, the, the old webcam, like even the, the box that shows where the element is, is just missing. No, I appreciate it, Kevin. Thanks for... I didn't. I couldn't remember where it was either, so I just when I created a new one, I just threw it somewhere. <laughs> um, so definitely, let me know if it's if it's over, if it's covering up any elements. I don't think there's anything on the top right. All right. Um, so that was our warm up mackerel. We usually go small. Big, small, big. So, like, either a javelin or a gecko, and back to an atlas. I don't want to do a star. I I do want to do a stargazer, but I don't want to do a stargazer. It's because it's been so long since we played. I want I want a, I want a meteor. Not like a meteor as an asteroid, but meteor. Uh, gecko. So. I'm thinking javelin next. And uh, see if we can get ourselves like, maybe a heavy cargo gecko. Just for, you know, old time's sake. The heavy cargo javelins were the ones that we've been doing lately because of the new interior design that I really like and I'm not seeing any other javelin options in the hazard not so I guess we're going to do the Bordas cruiser so this one doesn't have the rings uh, we'll try, we'll try, uh, we're not going to get, obviously, as much as we normally do, uh, doing our first, first, uh, shift challenge, but I do think that we'll, we'll still kind of push it. Which from the F21 of last season. Yeah, that had to be last season because we're still we're only up to episode 18 now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, now that I stop and look at it, there's nothing in the top right. Um, so we'll we'll leave it in the top right for now. Nothing on the top left either, but. I thought there was a summary information or something up there. Salvage secured. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the top left shows the... When things are turned in. I'll try to keep an eye out. I don't think the top right is used except for a like, summary information at the end. I feel like we didn't cut this off because of an internal explosion something before. Okay, nothing nothing apparently bad happening. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. Oh, R over. Right. Try to burn all these tethers out real quick like. I am I am being slow on these grabs. Feel it. Credits <laughs> transferred. You go over there. Salvage deposit confirmed. Out of the way, I don't want you to break the tether. That's the last tether. There we go. Credit applied. Welcome to Venditron 
Credits awarded. That was not, I didn't do that right. That's supposed to be bottom to top. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Like that. Alright, we need to remember that we don't want to cut the hull accidentally. Please, not being dramatic, you're in my way. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Where'd your buddy go? I don't have time to be looking for stray pieces. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Okay, I didn't throw it that hard. Where'd it go? Wow. Salvage secured. Applying credit. That was a waste of time. Tether maximum. I forgot to cancel tethers. I even thought of that when I started doing this. I said, remember, remember cancel tethers. I didn't say it out loud, which I probably should have. I gotta wait till everything is where it's going so I can cancel those tethers. Good angle. As soon as I pressed the button, I was a little concerned I was going to reach. Go with your buddy. Um, right, we have the bottom yielding left, and that's it. All lights, so you guys can see what I'm doing. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Hey, no, no, you don't. You've had your one tether. One tether rule. Okay, uh, uh, we didn't break the hull. I think we got everything. Um, I think we need to open it. I seem to remember that we always do something really bad here. That causes the power to. Airlock depressed. 
pressurizing. Like we end up disconnecting the power and not being able to, to depressurize properly. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. You know, at least open the door. We're gonna find out one way or another. Thank you. Alright, my last demo charge. Fire in the hole. I think it's the last one we needed anyway. Honestly, I think we're probably better off not using that regulator. Just, you know, if we're, when we're talking about trying to do this in a, you know, a certain time frame, it's probably quicker to cut that door out and, and force depressurize the ship than it is to, uh, Airlock depressurizing. to take the time to wait for the regulator to depressurize. Not moving? Did I miss a? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! All right. What else do we need to cut while we're waiting on that? Probably shouldn't be cutting this. I feel like I shouldn't be cutting this. But anyway, um, that's pressurized. So tether probably was a little right. premature on that. Yes, I was premature on that. We're gonna try to live with it. Because it's through here. Come on, come on. Come on. Hooking onto the thing. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Canceling tethers. I don't need that being dragged to the furnace. Credit deposited. are doing very poorly. Very Salvage poorly indeed. Secured. Applying credit. Uh, ba -ba -ba. we need to all this. Depressurizing. 
haven't heard that nanocarbon going into the processor yet. We're gonna need to be able to cancel a tether here. All right, he's, he's in. Ornithin. Why you no move? What am I missing? Object processed. Transferring credits. Don't. Be the missing anything. Rewards allocated. Fine. I don't think we're getting the ECU. It isn't going to come out. Um, I have no way of telling what edge it thinks is attached to. Come on, come on, come on. Can't cancel a tether. Yeah, I can now. All right. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. Salvage destroyed. Please revisit your train. You're watching the clock, Cutter? You've got one minute Ooh. left. Yes, I'm watching the clock. Looks like I'm doing it. All right, uh... Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Give, give me, give me. Yep. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. We don't have time to run to the front to try to get other things of value off the front. So, grab what we can here. That's a vent. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. No, oh, I'm not going to get it there. I'm. <laughs> Uh, fourteen two. I think I think that we're normally like in the eighteens, aren't we? Still, you know, not too bad for being rusty. I'm I'm not mad at it. I mean, we spent some time like pulling lights and things like that. That I know that if I was true speed true speed running, we wouldn't bother with. Uh. And we ran into some problems there with getting the ECU out. That cost us a little bit of time. Well, Gavin, uh, really glad to see you again. I'm glad you were able to, to stop in, uh, especially on a you know unscheduled midweek stream. Uh -huh. So thanks for thanks for stopping in. Hello, ship breaker. Overnight genetic backup complete. Pattern deviation nominal. Have we will we will day. be uh, tortuguing this weekend. Let's see if we messed things up for ourselves or whether or not we're able to actually open and close doors. Because I think that's the problem we keep running into in the past was that by detaching the stuff on the back, all the door handles stopped working on the front. Salvage 
Glitch deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Airlock pressurizing. Okay. That still works. That's good. Poster, poster. Hey! We gotta pet the puppy! Pet the puppy. We're gonna get the poster that we're after, though. One of them. Alright, um, working regulator? Oh, um, no. No, no, no. Because we can't get back in the ship. We took the door's ha handles off the <laughs> exterior. We need to... Uh, we need to reopen that door. There we go. Airlock now we can do this. We wouldn't have been able to get back into the ship. I'm still so glad that they made this entire thing a furnace item because I was so tired of cutting the glass out of these. Each little individual panel. That was definitely a quality of life update. Material deposited. Account credit applied. It, it, I knew you were not going to attach that thing. I wanted. That's okay. We'll accept it. The other terminal will just have to find a new partner. Money. Applying credit to account. Uh oh. Uh. So that was the depressurization warning sound, but there was nothing depressurized. I thought I thought that I accidentally caught this. Okay, so that's weird. Nothing depressurized. game's trying to mess with us. Oh, that was a weird audio glitch. Uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I'm going to look for regulators. There it is. Broken. Zamirith? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Zami? Uh, yeah, so right, you're, you're talking about uh, sometimes it'll it'll uh, close the doors and repressurize when we remove the side. 
Uh, yeah, and I, and I thought that maybe that was what was happening, but we, since so we depressurized the exterior, the, the cockpit, it closed that door. So this should have already been pressurized, but that, I agree, that was kind of, that was the behavior that we just observed. Uh, the sound, like, is shutting the doors and, and to preserve the pressurization. I think you might be right. I think that might be the... Even though it was already pressurized, that, that might have been the routine that it triggered, which caused the sound. Okay. What are we going to depressurize? Let's go straight out to the... Problem is, if we go straight to the top... This door is probably going to close as the discussion we're just having and try to preserve this pressure vessel. Are there any... I don't think the ship has any... Oh, those dividers. Uh, atmospheric regulators in the, in the outer shell. I think that's exclusive to a gecko. The station hopper, I think. That has a has a regulator on the outer shell. Alright, um uh, we know how this goes. We're not gonna go through the the other side because that's where all the exploding bit tanks are at. Like when I think about it, we we're not even supposed to be working on the, the front. I'm gonna pop that door. I'm assuming it's gonna close this. But we can't go through the other side because we haven't pulled the tanks yet. So in fact this is probably gonna close this right here behind me. So let's head that off. Airlock we'll cut this one instead. Hang on to that. Okay, nope. Nope, where are you going? Where are you guys going? Pretty clean. Warning. Fuel level. Valuable object accepted for processing. Oh, don't. Ooh, barely missed it. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Is there anything else like the small ladder? There's. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. I feel like we caught the small ladder out here somewhere. Deposit secured. Credit awarded. I am not seeing it now. We just tossed the big ladder, but I thought we caught the small ladder that was flying away. Worry about it later. Start, let's start getting the, the back half taken care of. Well, there's some easy money that we missed. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. I think we got all the door handles, though. Ah, missed one. Hey Cutter, you've got five minutes left in the shift. Hope you're having fun. You're having fun. BD, I am having fun. Thank you for, for asking. Let's pull those off before we know how we're going to depressurize this so we can have more floating bits. 
That was smart. Working regulator. Okay. Air pressure level decreasing. That's another thing I'd like to see. I'd like to see them to go back to where the highest le hazard levels had no working regulators. Or just make it random. Don't guarantee there's going to be one. I mean, yes, we can pretend that they have no working regulators and just, you know, not use them. in the way. Thank you. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. Here's the already broke the tether. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. They couldn't stand to be together for like 15 seconds. Pressurization in the airlock. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. No way around that. Yeah, there's a way around that. Airlock. Because we had a working regular on this side, we don't have to pop that. There we go. You know, it occurs to me that all of that is a processor thing. We always cut the cockpit off, but I don't think we necessarily need to. I mean, we always have to cut this part out anyway. The cockpit doesn't have to be out of the way for us to do this. Oh wow, we got that side in one shot. That never happens. That side always takes like five cuts. Oh, 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 oh back, 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 back. One minute left, Cutter. Start finishing things up. All right. Did the other, did the other light get thrown out? Oh, it did. Okay. Excellent. Applying credit to account. There's kid gloves on this one because the aluminum backing. Nope, don't, don't do it. Get in the rush to get that last cut, and we you know we end up just slicing the uh, the airlock. Oh. A long time to load. That's uh, a lot of apple pie.
Good morning, ship breaker. Lynx would like to share the following message. So the unhealthy. The only peas permitted in the salvage yard are profit, processor, and potassium trifluoromethane sulfonate. I should have some cinnamon. Put some cinnamon on it. Ah, uh, we'll go get some film. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your purchase. Fuel levels restored. We still have not run out of fuel since 1.0. Though we normally cut it a lot closer. There you go, it was all in one piece. Remember, we get the air vent out of this. The whole thing doesn't go in the furnace. I just realized that they didn't they didn't use the movie trope in, in this game and have you know large air vents large enough for a person to crawl around inside of like the uh, like the Aurora does in uh, Subnautica. You know how much time we spend swimming through vents? Not a complaint. I would add a lot of space. I could definitely see them. It's such a trope that I could see them having done it. Material accepted. Credits transferred. Get from one part of the ship to the other via via vents. Oh, we need um. I will charge this. Thank you for your purchase. All right, let's remember how we did this. Um, well, I guess first we get rid of the, the cells. Had a very slight moment of panic there as I pressed the button. Going through my head, did I, did I pull the switch?
one of those situations where it's like, you know, that thought should have happened earlier. Buddy with you. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Oh, shot. We had to cut. Yeah, because it, it can't pull out through here, so we had to cut. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. Like along that edge. Stupid ship is blocking our light. I feel like this is gonna blow up. I know it shouldn't. Beam on the outside. Oh. Stay on target. Oh, right. We don't normally cut there. We normally cut there. Because that beam needs to still be connected because of this. I mean, it, it's not a big deal. But I knew that that angle wasn't normal. It's gonna, I don't think it's going to harm our end products. It's going to be more clean up. So we cut it in a different place, creating more disconnects. Harm our efficiency. Charges near a tank full of fuel. What could go wrong? Right there, I think, is where it's supposed to be.
Tether supplies are low. Huh. It was still phantom connected anyway. Five minutes left, cut it, okay? So this, this gigantic tank full of fuel is significantly lighter than the tiny little tanks in the back of the mackerel. Somehow the fuel pipe, however, is way heavier than everything else. Alright, we needed to cut these. Somewhere. Because we can pull those out. We have to cut them? I think we chose to cut them. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. I know we don't normally do it this way, but it's already in motion. Break that tether. No tethers. Please refill supplies. Oh, I'm like running out of tethers when I'm in the middle of doing something. Welcome. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. I think we picked up enough spare parts to build a second armadillo at this point. Pressurized, pressurized, pressurized. Valuable object accepted for processing. If we cut our way through here, then it's gonna just close the other door. The problem with cutting our way from here is that we have valuables on this side. Depressurizing. Cut that door, it's going to close the door behind us. Airlock pressurizing. Cut that door, it's going to close this door. Cut this door, it's going to close that door. Airlock depressurizing. How does it do it? Oh, we lost regulator. No. Hey. Oh, no. That's why I always turn off my, I always shift off of my cutter. So that I don't accidentally cut when I want to grab something. And I just cut when I want to grab something. Fortunately, Credit applied. the uh, the half door that was right in my face ate that Credit entire cut. Kept me from destroying anything valuable. I don't know why I'm pulling this out, I just am. 
What? Oh, timer! <laughs> I had no idea that we were running out of time with the shift. That felt sloppy. I know we lost the regulator, that's unfortunate. Just, that just felt sloppy. So I guess we don't have, this isn't one of the cargo containers with the interior cargo. It's the old style one. Which I'm fine with, but I, I do like the new style container a little bit better. Your designated sleep period is now over. Have a great day. Depressurizing. All the exterior areas depressurized. Airlock is still pressurized. Good to know. Oh, I wanted to... I'm not counting that as this one tether. That was my fault. That wasn't that wasn't the uh, misbehaving of the keys. Salvage secured. Applying credit. That yet. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Pressurize this. Airlock depressurizing. for one on that one. Behind it, do that again. I was lining that up to send it to the barge. That doesn't go to the barge. That does. Processing object. Applying credits to account. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. They're still attached. Uh, I don't think I want to detach that yet. I want to leave bass. 
try to minimize the inevitable spin that's going to happen to the front of the ship. Depressurized. That's um start detaching the exterior here. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Filter. That's interesting, that whole thing was blue. Okay, so that ring right there is freed up. Can't be moved out yet because that's the way. Cut that, do we? No, because those are right. We normally do the cross cut, which we still need to do because we still need to liberate those. No harm, we didn't lose anything from cutting it, just... It prevents that from trying to sneak away. A little sloppy, but we're gonna take it. Object processed. Transferring credits. Material deposited. Feel clean. Woo. Oh, I got away with it. Valuable object process. Credit deposited. It's because you know it it doesn't a lot of times you got the line going across and it's not necessarily exactly where you want it to be. So you hit the button to, to start the turn and you cut as it's turning. as it's crossing the, the horizontal line. I don't need to grab you. I, I feel the need to double check this for some reason. A little too late to look on the other side of it. Raw material deposited. There's the broken regulator. get from it.
away. Get on the same plane with it. It's sloping to the bottom right, so just a little twist, then a cut, like that. Good. Tiny twist and a cut. Five minutes left, Cutter. You know what you're doing? Okay. Material accepted. Credit uh, assigned. That one. Oh, then we're stuck. Shenanigans. All right, we'll do this to figure out what side is stuck. That side is stuck. That one was good. Processing valuable objects. Really, the one on each each end. I guess it was a little much to expect to get a perfect cut on all of them at this point. I flung that one in. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Well, I got a straight cut somewhere. That did not look like a good. Nope. Nope. I want to demo charge it. Else, nothing else. On the barge. Gar. It looks a little suspicious. I think all of that is clear. I think what we want to do is. this right here. The inside, what's on the other side of it? This is what I was talking about earlier, about the cut by numbers. Or how it could be without the, the cut by numbers. This is an optional strategy for how we're cutting the ship up. That's not pre-colored. We're not told we need to cut there. I'm sure many, many people don't do this. This is the way that it should be. This is our strategy for how we want to gut the ship. Not much time left, Cutter. One minute to go. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Alright, 
one minute to go. Let's see how much we can get out of this. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Not much at this rate. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Deposit registered. Account credited. That wasn't I wasn't gonna tether that because when we take the I'm not gonna do that while the timer's going out. When we take the table off it it dismantles all those anyway, but I just need to attach it to something. And less than three million. We're are we're making less and less every shift. That's the problem with doing that that strategy where you get so much money on the first shift that the ships shifts afterwards feel lackluster. Good morning, cutter nine three four six dash fifty two. All the team at Lynx would like to wish you a happy and productive day. Thought we'd get that ring in there before the end of the shift, but taking that sweet time. fired that it would hit me in the back of the head and still pushing me around goodness that would have been a, that would have been probably an instant death processing valuable deposit credits transferred material deposited account credit applied it managed to come over and hook, hook the side of the table right behind us That would have ended very poorly. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Thing is not attached to the thing it's supposed to be attached to. Salvage accepted. Apparently it's not attached to anything because it was still attached to the wall which means that tether isn't actually there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Phantom tether. Not get to go to the furnace. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. All right, I think that segment is done. All right. Salvage yeah, that's a uh, confirmed. Applying credit. Empty bottle. Holding this bit on. Oh, I, I think what's holding it on is that it's the uh, the external plates go across the border. Oh, that's processor. Huh.
Yeah, because the, the external plates are aluminum. A little more careful here. Okay, that's liberated now. But we can't pull that one forward because of that edging. This ring should be free. What am I missing? Okay, there's the there's the plate going across to the other side. I feel like there's a hidden cut back here that we're missing, but how'd that get cut? I'm not sure how that got cut, because if we had done it earlier, it would depressurize the whole ship. Is it just too heavy for us to pull? Okay, that's what it was. So it is liberated, it's just too heavy for a grappler. Alright, that's where the confusion came in. I still don't know how that got cut. Not to worry about it though. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. I don't think it really cost as much. It was still the the cut piece was still considered processor, so. Going a little bit faster. Get out of our way. I remember in early access when all those interior pipes were basically waiting time bombs. Most of the time, you couldn't actually detach them properly. If you tried to do any kind of cut anywhere near them, they'd blow up. Pipes used to be the worst. That's not a good angle. Definitely something that I'm very glad that they fixed. For the final release. I don't think I'm going to start pulling those out yet, but we gotta remove that air vent. That's gonna give us floor access. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Got a warm place to go to. All right, time to burn a lot of tethers. All right, settle down. Settle, settle down. Deposit accepted for processing. Let's get these out of the way. There, there will be that energetic. We need to be careful. Where did your other pair go? Credits transferred. The ship in the distance. 
There it is. Wow, they really made some distance. I'm glad I looked for them now because they were trying to drift their way into the furnace. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Salvage secured. Applying credit. I knew it flipped us at the last second. All right, you get a new partner. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. The light side, don't like playing on the light side. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Salvage goal reached. Rewards assigned. Five minutes left to get your work done. Okay, Cutter? I'm on my way, please. Now I normally open up a new floor piece, but this is working out pretty well. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. there. Where do we want to break this? Right here, I think. Oh, we got two radiation panels side by side. That's a little more than I wanted. It's the light side. That one. I was gonna blind shoot that and then realize the pipe was in the way. Ruined it. Processing object. Applying credits to account. Are you not? Salvage deposit accepted. There. Credits transferred. I think we pulled three sets of things out. Not the button light. Can we pull two tethered sets and one single out? There it is. Raw material process. Credits deposited.
think before we get into too many shenanigans with cutting this up near the warning fuel levels are critical generator we pop these fuses Here is where we cut apart. Because we can't pull it out because of that back piece. This angle of their beams going through that wall. Something on your side of it to burn. Got it? Yeah. All right. Uh, that way it'll start pulling out. On our way back, seven million. All right, that's a better, that's a better shift than uh, than previous. I think we can finish it in this shift. Good morning, Shipbreaker. This is your daily wake-up call. We have our equipment. Quite some time. Everything's holding out. Yeah, we're fine. Grab some fuel. Thank you, Zami. I'm uh, glad to hear that my uh, videos have been helpful. You're, you're most welcome. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. That's a, a wonderful game, and the more more people are encouraged to play it than the more it gets seen. Um, why is this not moving? Why why you no move? I'm just glad that there are still people interested in, in watching it and potentially playing it. That's why you no move. Because it is such a fun game. Okay, the other way. Oh, 
also the more that we see games like this that are successful from like in you know indie companies the more we get to see other games like this that are made you know the the more that it's obvious that indie companies can be successful the more it encourages other companies to follow suit Artspace is such a good example of the quality of game we can get when we get away from the, the mega studios that are, you know, just purely profit driven. You have games that are released, you know, months if not years before they're actually ready. Valuable object process. Credits deposited. Anything I can do to support good, you know, good practices like this. I, secured. Credit uh, deposited. It is my privilege to do so, and I'm glad to hear that it has been beneficial to others. So thank you very much for saying that. All right, we need to get this liberated and we might as well go ahead and take out our generator I still always see a flying saucer when I see that generator salvage deposited applying credit to account I can't think of what sci-fi movie or show that I'm thinking of, but I know that we've seen flying black triangles as spaceships before. Maybe Close Encounters of the Third Kind? I can't think of what that ship looked like. All I remember is that it was surrounded in lights. This one done. Processor deposit accepted. Bye bye. Credits awarded. Carry on my wayward son. Salvage secured. Applying credit. This one, we just send it as is. Next one is also ready to go. Might not be because it might be connected to a panel. Won't be surprised if this doesn't move. Okay, right. It, it's moving, but it's too heavy. For us to, to grab onto it because it's a double panel. And turn the whole ship. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Did we collect the. I assume we took the the radiation filter out of the other one. Yeah, we had to, right? Because the back came off of it. Valuable object Salvage registered. Transferring credits. You have to redo some things on auto and you start to wonder, did I actually do it? Salvage accepted. Credit applied. I 
I know that side was already exposed, but if we cut as opposed to... Well, not cutting, then we don't get to save that little extra piece of aluminum. This side, however, cutting it won't do us any good because we still have to melt the bar for this. Oh, we might still be able to get a little aluminum out of it. I'll take that back. Close enough there we can yep, shave a little bit of aluminum off. That guy is still in our way. Feather supplies dropping. Material deposited. I don't like that. that for saying that. Tether supply dropping. No, it's not dropping. That that implies that there's a leak. <laughs> like we're leaking tethers. We know that the numbers are reducing. We're using them. Just, you know, tether supply getting low. That would be... It's more accurate. Raw material deposited. Transferring credits. It's the wall in the back. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Go along with them. We need to get on the other Salvage side so we can registered. finish that. Account credited. Pulling that out. Oh, is this the... No, it's not. Deposit accepted for processing. Yeah, it's the, it's the other uh, javelin that has the, the sealed section that you can't get into. Light that always gets in the way. I think that's the only light that's attached directly to an airlock. this beam while we were here. The original reason for us coming around there. Alright. Um, this is good to go. We'll inspect it as it, as it moves. All door handles off. Nope. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. Seems like no matter how many times I check, I always miss one. Make this at the end of, by the end of the shift. 
too long to empty that room. All this electronics. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Good cut. Happy with that cut. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Stop turning the room. Not helping. going to be something holding this bottom plate on. Or not, thank goodness. Transferring credits. Caution. Tether supply. Oh, not the time to run out of tethers. Material accepted. Credits transferred. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. No, no, stop, stop, stop turning. Deposit secured. All going Credit wrong. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Woo! One minute left on the clock, Cutter. Not the one, one I want to grab. There's gonna be door handles. I can't just send this. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Stray stuff, stray stuff. You still haven't gone in. Why? No, we had done it. We had done it. Why did you not go in? Ah. Uh. I re-tethered that thing like twice and it still didn't go in in time. It just parked itself. The, I mean, there's still a floating cube, but we could have escorted that cube in if we hadn't had to go after that guy. Morning Cutter 9346-52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational that, that last piece is going to cost us 85000 We have to go in for another shift. Work hard at work worth doing. Material accepted. Maybe we can't just like watch it from our, you know, hab. This doesn't require our intervention in any way.
Well, we got a couple of button lights that we wouldn't have gotten otherwise. Totally worth it. <laughs> if it forces us to come back out here, we're gonna we're gonna nitpick everything out. Make the most of it. You no go. All right. This is debris. Yeah. Nine nine point two. We even got better than the uh, the mackerel. And that was despite breaking a atmospheric regulator because we didn't we didn't uh, remove it before depressurizing. The mechanic that still boggles my mind why they did that. Morning cutter nine three four six dash fifty two. All right, let's look for an atlas. I don't have a particular atlas in mind. Nomad. Or roustabout. Anyone have a preference? Nomad or roustabout? I'm not going to bother to put up a pole. But I am going to uh, try to pie while giving people opportunity to answer. You usually look for one with coolant for the engines. Uh, I think the the coolant is more tied to the hazard level than the particular ship. So at hazard nine, there, unless you're extremely unlucky, there should always be coolant. Let's do the tug. I like the run, the the fiery death gauntlet. Yeah, I I don't know about the 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 coolant symbol actually. Well, I don't normally pay attention to those symbols, but I have in the past, and I found them to be inconsistent. To the point to where I suspect that it's just random, like that the that the, the visuals are you know like this ship could contain this kind of hazard but doesn't necessarily. I don't think that the game knows Solid the ship until you've loaded the ship for the first time. Like, I think that the, the ship is put together on the first load and therefore does not yet exist at the time that you're reading 
the the uh, job board. In fact, I'm 95% sure of that because it would mean that the game would have to pre-generate every ship that's on the job board. And we we know that it doesn't do that because of, well, the complexity of them. That doesn't belong down there. Because uh, the complexity of the ship, right? I mean, that was the whole thing about them adding, you know, the ability to save was because they needed to find a way of, you know, the complexity, holding that much complexity of the ship into into memory, and then recording it, you know, into a into a drive. And if the ship was pre-generated before we ever got into the into it on the first time, meaning from the job board, then it would have to generate every one of the ships in the memory to know if if it has certain hazard. Well, those those symbols are not reliable. Swinging around, okay. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. do the ship, uh, the, the engines first on the Nomad, or on the Rastabout, because of the issues with mass. Cluster unstable. Fire hazard risk high. I know that we have not experienced the, the mass bug of, of the last, you know, opening the last engine. Below the certain the mass point and having it throw the either throw the ship into the processor or crush us, but I have seen reports that some people have still experienced that since 1.0. We have not. It's been reliable for us when we tested it, but I am just not one to tempt the fates. We have a working way. We do the way that it works. Do the engines first on this ship specifically. had it crush you in the gauntlet right after the flip it. So that's, yeah, that's, that was the bug. Well, that was the bug that replaced the original bug, which originally the bug was that it would fling the entire ship into the processor. When you open the very last, when you flip the switch on the very last engine, if the entire ship's mask wasn't stable enough to keep it from moving. Which is why we always do the uh, all four engines first. Cluster dangerously unstable. Proceed with caution. They they'd fixed it to where it wouldn't throw the entire ship into the processor, and then instead it would crush you. <laughs> and then they supposedly fixed the crushing, and we have never been crushed by it. But as you mentioned, some people have experienced that. 
and I believe them that they have, and I have chosen not to wish my luck on it. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. I'm going over here to make sure that the other uh, engine housing was teetering its way into the furnace. These engines are like toddlers. You look away for just a moment and they get into trouble. Forgot again to go for coolant. Bump the edge a little bit there on the way out. That's all right. Over there is safe. Yeah. Valuable object accepted for processing. Thruster fuel system unstable. Proceed with extreme caution. I guess it would have been faster to go around, but I did it anyway. I'm just starting that process while I'm I'm babysitting this. There was no strategic reason for needing to hit break it. Hit. I mean, it was a time saving because I knew it takes time to open that. That way, it's open when I want to go to it. But it wasn't a strategic reason beyond. I knew I had a few seconds to kill while I was waiting for that. Why I cut that engine differently than normal, but I did. Yeah. Ah! Fire! We almost got through all of them without being set on fire. So close. Three, uh, three out of four ain't bad. Where'd that other. Let light go. There it is. Salvage deposit registered. Account hey, Karate. Accepted. What are you doing today? Deposit accepted for processing. We don't use we don't use the coolant hey, here. Oh no 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 no! Light right. bank. Oh, I didn't take the front. This. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. I knew to take those and I didn't do it. This is the only ship that we don't strip everything off of the right at the beginning because of the whole mass issue. But you can get away with stripping those lights off without the mass being a concern. Overabundance of caution that I leave them behind and it bit me. 
Valuable object accepted for processing. All right. Dangerous engines have been realized. Bounce off, or you're gonna go in. You're gonna bounce off. I'm wise to your shenanigans. Salvage is secured. Applying credit. on the bottom left. Nope. Are there any lights on the bottom remaining? There were no lights on the bottom left either, though. Technically, it's a ship, so we don't do left and right. It's port and starboard. Warning. Fuel levels are low. Fuel supplies are available for purchase at the Master Jack. Uh, yeah, Karate, I, I go back and forth about where I tether the uh, the engines, engine housings, because of the furnace. I found that I typically get away with pulling the back so it pulls around and away. But sometimes I'll do I'll do kind of mid forward, and that way it'll pull it out and forward. That's been a that's been a pretty reliable method as well. At this point, I kind of cycle between them just to mix things up. Processing object. Applying credits to account. You watching the clock, Cutter? You've got one minute left. No, DD, I was not watching the clock. Thank you for calling me. I'm surprised that cut landed. I'm not going to send the engines in right now because 11 seconds, I don't want to babysit them, but seriously. Well, I want to get both sides so that we could potentially cut that out from the interior. <clears throat> All right. 0.1%. We lost that light, thank Disappointing. Unforced error.
comfort pie. Hello, ship breaker. This is your morning wake up call. Is that right, Karate? I, I know I've read before the the origins of Port and Starboard. I couldn't I couldn't remember. I wouldn't have been able to recite why why they used Port and Starboard. Yeah, I do I, I do always like to see you know the origins of things. It's always a good those are those are neat factoids to to learn. Why is a thing the way it is? It's always a good question to ask. In general, it's a it's a good approach to life. Why is a th why is a thing? And if you take the time to learn why a thing is, then sometimes it helps you understand it better. Sometimes it helps you improve on something. Yep, More, most people are still right-handed. I am ambidextrous, so it's never been an issue for me. I knew you were going to cancel on me. What prompted me to uh, to learn Port and Starboard, <clears throat> you know, at least to commit it to memory, was playing uh, Sea of Thieves. Ooh, free fuel. That's what we're looking for. Fuel levels restored. Played so much Sea of Thieves that I, I committed to. The memory of getting getting that which side is which right. All right, we have a broken regulator down here. Working regulator up there. We could cut the floor out, but I don't think we're gonna do that. Just gonna vacate this room and then open the open the door to it. Yeah, port, port side is, is so-called because the ship is moored on that side. Yeah, that sounds right. Puppy. Already petted one puppy. Those, those are expensive. Where is the regulator? There it is. Even though uh, uh, Liquid Dark is not here for the, the petting the puppies, that is, uh, that's their loss. All right. Air pressure level decreasing. We left the panel outside. Nothing should break. Very good. Oh, hard drive. Unclaimed hard drive. Amazing, we still have some of those. Yoink. Okay, it's not one of the live ones. We can't listen to it. 
All right, the uh, we have not cut the engines free on the bottom, so we can't cut the floor out yet. Can, however, cut those out and remember to remove this before blowing the whole place up, which we have set that on fire before. I've really been itching to play some, some see if they use, you know, with the the revival of our being pirates on the ocean playing Tortuga. It's made me long for the open sea. Object processed. Transferring credits. It's been many many months since I last played any months oh the last time I played I ended up just joining some rando on a sloop and uh, doing some story missions and it was a lot of fun I had a blast doing it Don't break your tether. <sighs> Don't listen. I know there's a one tether rule, but I don't want to deal with it. You're going to do it too, aren't you? Airlock depressurizing. See, that doesn't happen when I pull them from the back and they flip around. Whoa. Uh, game frozen Object and back. <laughs> Credit deposited. What that was about. Salvage goal met. Rewards will be paid. I probably could have got away with just not talking and not moving while it was happening, and everyone would just assume that it was a uh, YouTube buffering. <laughs> just freeze with the game. <laughs> Played off like it didn't happen. All right, would you be free? Thank you. Oh, 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 come back, come back, come back. Tether, aren't you? Or you're just gonna get stuck on the bottom, one or the other. Got him around it. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, I agree, Karate. It's, it's, it's often surprising to me that we don't just blow everything up with our our high power laser and all the fuel that's everywhere. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. I mean, in in fairness, we're in the vacuum of space. Salvage Heat secured. transfer is not quite Applying as readily credits. available. Processing object. Applying credits to account. I mean Radiant heat obviously can transfer, but a laser Salvage is focused. Since there's no air to pass through to transfer the heat from the laser to the canister, there really shouldn't be uh, a proximity danger. Although there is a proximity danger in this game. We have plenty of times 
set things on fire or blown them up by being too close to them with the beam. Yeah, there are the sparks. That's very true. Those definitely would set things off. Being a fuel tank with a hot metal shard. That's definitely a recipe for disaster. Bad boy and didn't pull that off earlier. Good thing I checked. Five minutes left, Cutter, okay? Processing valuable deposit. Credit Ship transfer. got a skew. A lot of stuff down here. Um. I think we just pull these off individually. Our cells are, are danger. I don't want to risk tethering. Good money though. We have a full set. I like to see it. And everything went dark. That's good. Yellow anchors are very good. Oh yeah, you're talking about the the jacks, the floating jacks. We we don't use those very often, except for really on the gecko. We use it on the gecko a lot to to move the rear of the gecko out of the way. Uh, I think we need to start e-shelling this. I just went by 3.14, which was pi. We have pi. I could pause the game and take a. Well, I could. I was gonna say, pause the game and take a bite out pie, but I can't take it. I can pause the game. High time has already passed. I think I'd be close enough to get that second one. Away. Rewards Angle for that one. Might have been a light on that one, I don't know. Didn't see anything about a light going in the wrong place. That was a full shell. Nice. Not much time left, Cutter. 
One minute to go. Applying credit to account. Easily clean this up next shift. Deposit accepted for processing. Nope, the white bomb hatch as well. Cut in there at the last second. Eight million, not bad. Yeah, Cody, I am I am not a physicist either. Though I have watched a lot of videos from uh Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> Though technically he's an astrophysicist. Um, uh, Michio Kaku. I've watched a lot of stuff from him too. He's a, I think he's technically a physicist. And of course, Bill Nye, the science guy. Good morning, Cutter. It's time to begin your work day. Processing object. Applying credits to account. <laughs> Zero, you watched uh, all the Big Bang. Big Bang Theory, does that count? I mean, yeah, I guess. I, I, they, Big Bang Theory, they really did make an effort to, wherever possible, to be scientifically accurate with their material. I did not watch the entire series. I watched most of the series. They, uh... They jumped the shark on a on the relationship with Penny, and it kind of made me abandon the series. Late, very late, late seasons, but it was phenomenal. Uh, it's just, I think it was one of those shows that maybe should have gone off the air one season earlier. I tried watching the uh, Young Sheldon or whatever the, the spinoff was. Really appealed to me. Valuable object accepted for processing. Friday, you never saw Big Bang Theory? Oh, you're missing out. Quality TV. I, I've, the names of the actors escape me at the moment, but the, you know, Penny is the love interest from across the, the, um, hall, and, um, what's the character's name? Oh, it's been so long since I watched it. Sheldon is the tall, thin one. Leonard. Right, Leonard, thanks. Right, Le Leonard's the, the 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 one that ends up with with Penny. Uh, I forget the actor and actress. 
the actress name. Uh, I, her actress is um, Koku or something like that. Is her last name? I can't remember. But the 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 two actors became good friends outside of the show. You know, they weren't just love interests in the in the show. They were really good. They became really good friends outside of the show. And I've seen salvage secured. Uh, deposited. Pictures of them together outside of the show, and there is a there is a picture floating around that I'm, I think it was from uh, a Halloween that they they did Halloween together once, and uh, caution, no encounters uh, remaining. The the uh, I'm going to just say Penny because I can't remember the, the her her real name, but. Penny, Penny uh, dressed up as a as a female dominatrix, and uh, and Leonard dressed up as as her uh, submissive, and it's like I think the picture is of oh we don't have interface no interface. Okay, I cannot interact. Usually switching tools would do to fix that. Uh, give me a second here. Just cycle through everything. Yeah, I'm not I'm not getting the, the grab icon. That means I probably don't have interact over here either. I do not. But, but basically, they 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 dressed up like the you know their characters were were uh, into more kinky stuff, uh, and it's just it's hilarious. You can just by looking at it, you can tell the two of them are just having a lot of fun together, and it's always great to see that. Uh, makes you appreciate their friendship outside of the show. I don't know what I can do here to get my my interface back. I'm gonna just hit every button and see if something will toggle the state. We've seen this bug before where you lose your interface, but switching tools always always fixed it. Um caution. No tethers remaining. I know that. Like I can We might have to abandon shift. Or just try to do this without tethers, I guess. Salvage registered. Transfer. Hopefully we'll regain our, our our interface once uh, we go back in to the hab. We, we were going to finish this ship. Oh, we need to be able to rotate the ship. We can't do it without tethers. Alright, we'll just persevere. So heavy. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Stop while you're on top. Oh, you stop because you're talking about the yeah the 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 show. Yeah, the, I mean it's hard. I, I respect the the challenge from a creative perspective to have something successful and then knowing when to stop. You know, 
Sometimes it's obvious. Sometimes it's not. You know, like uh, uh, Johnny Carson was a good good example. He had a, a fantastic run, you know, in, in late night, and he retired on top. He, you know, he even said that, like, I'm, you know, quit while I'm ahead, kind of thing. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Um. That's, that's definitely a hard thing to judge. Uh, scrubs. If you're familiar with Scrubs, the, the, the comedy, it both, it both got it right and wrong at the same time because they did eight seasons and they tied up, they tied up the entire show beautifully. It was, they went out on top and then they did an, uh, they did a ninth season just kind of out of the blue. And the ninth season was a bomb. Like they, they knew it was time to end the show. They tied up all the storylines beautifully. The show ended on a on a great note. There shouldn't have been a ninth season, and then someone somewhere went, you know what? We can milk this for some money. Let's. Even though we've already finished all the storylines, let's uh let's do another season, and it just was not good. And the actors that, that returned have admitted that, like, well, we shouldn't have had a ninth season. They had quit while they were ahead, and, and they should have stuck with it. We're not going to pick this up. Alright, is there anything else that we need? Probably the well, the reactor and the reactor plate. Okay. No tether's a bad angle. What can go wrong? Uh, Doctor Who right now is risking that same issue. Like the past two doctors have been just terrible. I, not a problem with the actors, it's been the writing. That show is crashing hard. Terrible writing, terrible stories. And they're, uh, honestly, they should have stopped it a few seasons ago. I think they're bringing back the, the, Object accepted for processing. the big showrunner uh, in an attempt to revive it. But hopefully he can. We might be able to finish this. This. Salvage secured. If. It's whether or not we can actually get this Hulk into the. Into the furnace without our tethers. We'd already be done with this ship by now. If we had the ability to interface. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Having to live without tethers. Rather humbling. Okay, um, that's everything. All right, let's try to...
lighten this up enough to see if we can actually move it ourselves. My instinct tells me we're not going to be able to do this before the end of the shift. Less than that actually gets light enough. Raw material deposited. All right, we're gonna do another one. So since we know we can push this in pretty easily, we're gonna do one more pass on. I was rushing a bit because of knowing that we were going to, it's going to take time. Uh, Moffat, right, Moffat's the one that's coming back. I was thinking Chris Brick Bicknell, but I knew that wasn't correct, so that's why I didn't throw that name out there. I mean, I'm, I'm skeptical because, honestly, Moffat was part of the problem. There's one minute oh, no. left the end of the shift. Uh, I mean, Moffat is responsible for some of the best storylines in, in, in uh, Doctor Who. I don't know what happened. I don't know if he burned out or what it was, but he... He started to take the series in a bad direction. And he was the beginning of the downfall. He was, he was both responsible for its greatness and for the problems it was starting to have towards the end of the Matt Smith era. The stories just started to get just bad. And then, like, the last thing he did before he left was basically sabotage the series. Um took his toys and went home. And so I'm I'm not real excited about seeing him come back. But if anybody can salvage the series, it would be Moffat. So hopefully, you know, he's been away for a few seasons. Hopefully he's gotten rested and he's ready to take the reins again and 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 do well. 99.7 without tethers. I mean, last of it without tethers. Uh, I'm pleased with that. I'll be even more pleased if we can actually uh, interact with things now. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it doesn't help that the that Doctor Who is, is uh, insisting on being PC, right? That 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 they're not taking constructive criticism. Yeah, uh, I agree with that. Uh, Good morning, ship breaker. Your you know, like I. Shift time will be commencing shortly. Um, for example, Jodie Whittaker being the, the most recent uh, doctor. Um, I don't have a problem in any way with a, a, a female protagonist. Uh, I I don't think that. Doctor Who has suffered in any way for, for having a female protagonist. I'm fine with them wanting to have a female protagonist. Uh, I don't think that they went about it the right way. First of all, it didn't... It was forced to begin with. <laughs> it was the, look, we can be part of the Me Too movement. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't done for the sake of story. It was done for the sake of, you know, look at us, we can do this too. Uh, it just didn't make sense for the doctor to suddenly become a female after all the, all those times. I accept that, that they can switch genders. 
and I don't have a problem with that. It just it was the timing and the way they did it that didn't feel right. And also, uh, they they did it at a time where they had a perfect opportunity to have a female doctor without it being the doctor. Oh. Okay, I'm not seeing a good gecko. So we're going to exit and come back in. So, uh, I know that not everyone here necessarily is a Doctor Who fan, so I won't go too far into it. Uh, but at the time that they were uh, looking to switch over to a female t uh, lead, there were two existing female characters in the, in the show that could have taken over the show with good, compelling storylines. And there was a pivotal event that storyline-wise would have easily led to either one of them becoming the lead character. So we had the Doctor uh, disappear. It was, I think it was, it was when they were switching over to. Uh, Links would like to share the following inspirational message. What's his name? Make the most of your shift by the most recent the male actor. Into flames of profitability. I'm drawing a blank on it. A, a great actor. And he acted the part well. Storylines were terrible. The, the, the doctor was written terribly when they, when they gave him his, his uh, version. He did the most he could with it. I, I totally appreciate the actor. But they had the opportunity to to exit the doctor, and at the time they had Missy, which was here's what we're looking for. So there is an ongoing uh, antagonist in the you know like main antagonist throughout Doctor Who, which is the Master, and he's also uh, a Time Lord. They kind of flipped the script at one point, and they made the master go female and they got an amazing actress to play the female version of the of the master play missy and just amazing just so amazing the character was amazing the acting was amazing the stories were mostly pretty good with them it, there were some bad stories that she was involved with but the actress made up for any deficiencies in the storytelling. She was so good. Um, the character made the character so compelling. And there was a lot of character growth that they did with her. You know, the master is like ultimate evil. Uh, and meant to just be irredeemably evil. Uh, but through the through the the female version, Missy, uh, while still being crazy evil, there was character growth, and uh, there was a scene where Missy decided to stop being evil, or t to try to stop being evil, and it happened at the same time in the same episode that the Doctor disappears. Uh, Account credited. And for no reason, this is this is Moffat taking his his toys and going home. Moffat kills off Missy in that same episode. Just no reason, literally no reason whatsoever to kill her off. And what they could have done is they could have could have had the Doctor be missing for a couple of seasons and and told stories of Missy thinking that the Doctor is dead and trying to carry on his legacy and it would have been such fertile ground for great storytelling because missy is a, a dark person very dark person who's always just not cared about anyone and they had shown her over you know the, the episodes coming up fighting her darker side and going, you know, going, well, you know, we could solve this problem by murdering everybody 
and going, no, no, the doctor wouldn't do that. He'd find a better way. And she was trying, Airlock, trying to see the world through the doctor's eyes. And it was a, they could have easily filled a couple of seasons with, with her feeling like, well, the, the universe is missing the doctor now. I need to step in for him. And it would have just been the most amazing storytelling. Awesome opportunity. So we would have had a female lead for Doctor Who with compelling stories. And that would have been a great opportunity. And then they could have just reintroduced the Doctor later. Um, there's also another female Gallifreyan who's in the universe that we haven't seen since she disappeared, which is Jenny. Uh, which is technically the doctor's daughter. And last time we saw her, she was heading off to explore the universe and and do good deeds. So, you know, Daddy could have come up missing and we could have had her. Uh, you know, filling the role for, for her missing Daddy while she's looking for him. That would have been a good season or two of, you know, her exploring, looking for him, and... And doing good deeds along the way, there was such an opportunity. She was a great, fun character. Yeah, Missy, Missy was a good character in your opinion. Yeah, Missy was... Like, at first, the first introduction ever, it was... Eh. But she got so well-developed, and the actress just crushed it. Um... She made that character her own and did such an awesome job of it. All right. Um, traditionally, we go front to back. There's no way of going out and coming back in in this ship. So we, we have one point of depressurization, which is going to be the front as usual. Hey, you missed Amy Pond. Yeah, Amy Pond was... So, that's, yeah, the Amy Pond series, uh, or, uh, uh, I guess series, I guess, is a good, Amy Pond era was an example of Moffat at his best. It was very good storytelling. They took, it took time to develop characters, develop relationships. There were huge story arcs that paid off in the long run with you know like with uh, River Song oh. and then after after the Amy Pond era was over they seemed to want to have that same kind of relationship they brought in Jenna Coleman uh, as um, the impossible girl uh, and and made her like immediately like best friends with the doctor, and the doctor was just taking orders from her, and it was it was there was this weird dependency that the new doctor had on on Claire Oswald was the character, and the relationship was not earned. They just they just rushed them straight to like best friends, and there was just. You had there was no investment, and that was part of the the bad storytelling that was at the end of Moffat's time. It was like they're a victim of their own success. They did so well with Matt Smith as a doctor and uh, Amy Pond, which is um, I, I know all these names. Why am I forgetting them right now? Karen Gillum. Great development of the characters. And it's like, well, you know, it's time to, to retire these characters because, you know, that, that's the nature of the show. And, but they didn't want to earn their way back to that point. And it's unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, Claire Oswald, the, the actress, Jenna Coleman, was 
I mean, it was the same situation, right? They bringing in quality actors. But the storyline wasn't there. there we, have, we, we run into having good quality actors who are trying to do their best with bad writing. So we'll see. We'll see where they go. You know, uh, Moffat's returning, and David Tennant's returning, which is weird but awesome because Tennant was awesome. Um, you know what we're gonna? We know we have asteroids coming in here. Hopefully, we don't get crushed by them. We're gonna park ourselves in the corner. Don't kill us! Don't kill us! Don't kill us! Don't kill us! Oh, money, free money. Right, I think we have a successful depressurization. We have a couple of uh, airlocks that still need to be depressurized. That's not a big deal. Airlock depressurizing. Yeah, and uh, so David Tennant's going to be back, but he's not—he's going to be the Airlock doctor, but he's not going to be the next doctor in a sense. Yeah, stopping while you're on top. Yeah, that's exactly it. Karate, it was, that was the whole genesis of the discussion was that maybe they should have quit while they were ahead. And I hate to say that because Doctor Who is a, a great series that we'd like seeing to go. It, if they could keep up that quality, then it's got a lot of leg. You know, it, it can keep going, but um, it's, it's really been rough past couple of doctors have really been rough. Like, I do not like the Jodie Whittaker doctor at all. I think that Jodie Whittaker did fine in the acting, but the the character is just Help written secure. terribly. Applying and it's... It. Aside from there being really bad storylines that she's part of, you know what you're the, doing? The, okay. the companions don't make sense. They don't. They don't congeal. They don't make sense in the in the, the storyline or the way the doctor treats them. And I have a problem with a show wanting to get credit for having a, a female lead, but not wanting to draw, not wanting to write her as a female. Like Jodie Whittaker's doctor is a male doctor. There's nothing feminine about her. And she doesn't have to be a little, like, you know, girly. But, like, Missy. Missy was very feminine. And she's not girly at all. She's, she's boss. So you can still have a strong female lead without pretending that she's not female. It was a problem I had with uh, Star Trek Voyager. Or one of many problems I have with Star Trek Voyager. They were, they were doing the same thing. Look, we can have a female captain. Okay, that's great. Let's here, here I have Captain Janeway, the most butch, most butch character we could write. It's like, no, that's that's not a female. That's not a fe <laughs> that's not a female captain. That's a dude with boobs. <laughs> it's just... Like I said, women don't have to be girly. They just, just don't have to go out of your way to hide that they're female want credit for them to you know Contact being a woman then object. bring those attributes awarded. and I'm not trying to get on the the PC woke train thing I, I that's those terms are used to death and, and abused uh, it's just that I feel like sometimes um, those creative studios are, they're wanting credit for something, but they're too afraid to, they're afraid of, of their own uh, viewer base. Like if we, if we change the formula too much, they might leave. So we're going to try to get credit for doing something better, you know, something more diverse. 
but we don't want to actually do something more diverse. Because the people who like things the way they are, the status quo might might revolt. And so the I guess my my message is that don't be afraid of your viewer base. If you want to do something different, do it and commit to it. Um, and if people are too sensitive to, to appreciate that you've you know gone outside your what you've done before, then tough. Tough for them, you know? They're, they're the ones who are missing out. Don't be afraid to, to, to push the boundaries. Uh, so, Cardi, so Tenet is, is coming back as the doctor, but it's not... Um... He's going to be the 14th Doctor, but it's not going to be a full series. It's only going to be like four episodes. They're, it's the they're off they're off air for the next I think year. Um, how do we want to do this? I'm trying to remember how we do all this. Um, all of the episodes that David Tennant will be in will be specials. They're not going to be regular episodes. Start finishing things up. He's not going to be around for a full, like, three-year cycle like the normal Doctors are. He's going to be around for, like, four episodes, and then something's going to happen, he's going to regenerate into the next Doctor. So we're not getting him for a full, a full run, unfortunately. But I think they're literally bringing him back in to try to save the series. And I'm excited to see him back. Um, but like he's going to be the 14th Doctor, so it's not going to be it's not going to be the David Tennant Doctor returning. He's going to be a new Doctor with the old face. Uh, so it's going to be interesting how they're going to write that, and it's interesting to see you know what are they planning with. I said I'm I'm really excited to see Tennant come back. He was so good. And I hope that he can help. Uh, I hope they can help. Uh, that Tenet can help revive the series. I mean, Matt Smith is my doctor. I I, I love Tenet. I love uh, the Chris Nicholson, which was the the first reboot Doctor, the first the 2005 Doctor. It's a shame that we didn't get to see more of him. My understanding there was some kind of disagreement and that led to him leaving after one season. But I, I, I thought he knocked it out of the park while he was there. I would love to have seen more of him. Good morning, shipbreaker. Your theta wave levels are high. Please administer two caffeine pods before starting your shift. Most of my favorite episodes are David Tennant episodes, even though Matt Smith is my favorite doctor. This is turning into a, uh, a Doctor Who live stream. <laughs> Oh, we can go to the bottom. We had the bottom open. That's right. We were working on getting the cockpit prepared. Let's get that. Oh yeah, and I've seen the uh, the fiftieth was it like the fiftieth anniversary, the one with David Tennant and Matt Smith both in it, and John Hurt. Oh my goodness, John Hurt was so good. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. I think one of the greatest tragedies 
the Doctor Who that we never got. We didn't get a full do uh, uh, John Hurt Doctor run. I mean, he killed it. He was he was he was so he was so the Doctor. And unfortunately, John Hurt has passed at this point, so we'll never we can't get a John Hurt Doctor at this point. I think this is that. You go that way. You go that way. But like the that that anniversary one with John Hurt and, and Smith and. Uh, and it all in the same episode. I've seen that so many times. Not only did I see it in the theater in 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 3D, but I have a copy of I have a copy of it in uh, in IMAX 3D that I can watch it in in my with my VR headset. So good. Why are you now moving? I feel like we've already freed up all this stuff. This side might not be freed up. But... We're gonna start tethering everything and see what moves. This one I, I know might not be freed up because <clears throat> this wasn't the one I was focusing on. And I've intentionally left that connected. That needs to be disconnected though. Do that. that mounting it. Transferring that might be what we're looking for right there. It's been a while. Still don't feel like that was what was holding it in place. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Salvage deposit registered. Account credit. Didn't it stop because of health issues? I don't. I mean, traditionally everyone gets like three seasons, right? Each doctor gets like three seasons. I felt like he had, he had done his full run. I mean, I would have happily watched more in it. Deposit accepted for processing. We are really being sloppy about this whole thing. <laughs> There's a tethers everywhere. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Talking about Doctor Who, I'm paying very little attention about what I'm doing. It's fine. I like, like good lively conversations. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. The show I was thinking the other night that I I need to rewatch. I haven't rewatched since the beginning, which was uh, Battlestar Galactica. Talk about a well. Well written, well uh, directed show. Battlestar, the you know the reboot of Battlestar Galactica was just groundbreaking. The acting, the storytelling, the effects—it was so good. And coincidentally, the Battlestar Galactica board game is my favorite board game of all time. And it wasn't because I loved the show. 
It was just that well put together. So that was not attached, but I think that nudged it. Did that nudge it free? The problem with the Battlestar Galactica board game is that it's a several hour long game. And uh, it's challenging to get a group together to play it. Well, I mean, before the pandemic it was. Credits transferred. Also, I've played the game so much that it's not fair to have me in there if I'm on the, if I'm on the bad guy team. Because the good guys cannot win if I'm in the game. I understand the game mechanics way too well. Oh. I, uh, yeah, checking for computers. I, I, uh, took all the computers off before the end of the last shift. We were inside the, inside the cockpit. And I, I broke all those free. I'm just going to keep removing things and then come back to it. Processing object. Applying credits to account. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Clean up all these stray bits and then just... When there's less clutter on the screen, we'll come back and look at it and figure out what's holding on. I mean, that piece has always been problematic. It's always gotten stuck. But usually we get some wiggle out of it, and right now it's not even trying to wiggle. Salvage deposit accepted. It makes me feel Credit like there's just something I didn't cut Valuable that I needed to cut. Oh, nope, there's the wiggle. Oh, this is a small shard. We can drag this one. Fire it into the sensor arrays. Material deposited. Account credit applied. Processing valuable object. There's a lot of aluminum on this ship. That's gonna get in the way of our usual strategy. I mean, it has slid forward. There we go. Oh yeah, the, the Civilization board game? Yeah, yeah, that's one game I will not play. It is, it is one of those obscenely long board games. I, I think, and it's been a while since I played it. I think Battlestar Galactica board game was like a four to six hour event. If you knew, if you had a group that knew what they were doing, I think it was still like a four hour game. But you, you absolutely didn't like you didn't feel it. That's one of the that's one of the strengths of the Battlestar Galactica board game is that no matter how many people you have in it. Um, you are constantly engaged at all times. There's no downtime uh, for the player. You're even if it's not your turn, you're involved in the game at all times. So for for people who are not familiar with, <clears throat> okay, first of all, for people who are not familiar with Battlestar Galactica, the very cliff notes short version is that uh, 
there is a human race, not our human race, uh, living somewhere else in space. And their technology uh, reaches the point to where they have robot servants. Eventually the robot servants rebel and try to wipe out humanity and are more or less successful at doing so. Uh, humanity had spaceships called battle stars. Those are their kind of their battleships. The Galactica is a battle star Object named process. Galactica. And the, uh, the show's premise takes place uh, with uh, the surviving, the, the last survivors of humanity on the run to get away from the, uh, the, the robots, which are called Cylons. That's your basic premise. You have, you have the, the survivors of humanity in, you know, in a convoy of, of human, you know, of ships, spaceships, trying to find a new habitable planet to live on and trying to escape the e evil robots that are trying to murder everybody. Deposit secured. Credits awarded. Uh, in the, the reboot version of it, I don't remember. I, I may have watched the original Galactica at some point when I was younger, but I didn't actively do so. In the reboot version, you have you have a small handful of Cylons that look like humans. Originally, the robots were just big metal, walking, obviously metal things. Um, but they they end up having human-looking versions that are kind of independent um, that have infiltrated humanity. And humans don't know that there are human-looking ones until it's way too late. And they don't know who they are. So a lot of the show is... And a lot of the TV show is that is not only the characters not knowing who are, who are bad guy Cylons, but the viewers not knowing who they are. Valuable object process. Credit deposited. And so the board game uh, is a hidden loyalty game where done, all Cutter. the players are One minute left. humans and um, you're attempting to take the battle star across space to find uh, Earth or whatever the goal it happens to be for that, that playthrough. And there are, uh, at the end of every player's turn, there is a crisis of some sort. It's an event, but it, more or less it's a crisis. I'm going to cancel Tether because that went all askew and things are trying to go where they don't belong. Deposited. I want to make sure that we actually get everything out. Um, suddenly I'm watching, uh, suddenly I have the urge to watch Stargate. I watched a Stargate episode last night. I have the entire series. <clears throat> it was the, the Stargate episode I watched last night was the one where, uh, Daniel Jackson, the first time he ascends. Uh, anyway, the, the Battlestar Galactica board game, uh, you're, or at the end of every player's turn, there's a card that's drawn, and the card, uh, is the event and the event is almost always negative because it represents that humanity isn't creating anymore you don't have a home planet it's what's left of humanity is on this you know this battleship and some civilian ships that are being escorted by it and that's it you're not you're not gaining population Good morning, you're not breaker. you don't have a planetary planet for for growing food you don't have planets for mining resources it's literally what you have on your on your 
chip and you're slowly things are slowly getting worse and um, the event represents mechanically the event represents all the players working together to try to negate whatever the bad thing is that's going to happen and you do oh no we lost antenna well the base of antenna um, and it's done through a, a kind of a private a, a hidden voting system uh, deposit registered. where everybody contributes positive or negative votes to the event based on cards in hand and there Salvage is at some point either at the beginning of the game or at the halfway point of the game there is at least one player who is trying to kill humanity and not get caught doing so so they're you know throwing in negative votes or trying to not throw in very good votes or pretend like oh i just really couldn't help on that vote i just didn't have any good cards and all along you're trying to you're you're the bad guy and you're trying to cause humanity to lose Material accepted. Credits assigned. and really trying to not have them realize that you're the one who's trying to help them to lose they know there's a bad guy in the game and so the better you are at hiding that you're the bad guy the more you build suspicion of other guys you know like oh no yeah something bad happened that that's really suspicious it wasn't me though it must have been him and if you can convince everybody else that someone else is the bad guy then they stop trusting each other and they stop working together real well and then humans definitely lose it's fun to be the bad guy in that game um but it's a lengthy game and uh if you know, you know how to play the bad guy. I argue that the, that it's impossible for the humans to win. It's not obvious. Like it, it. I've played the game an absurd amount of times to understand the subtleties of what will kill the humans if they like it or not, and how to do so as a bad guy. But uh, if I'm a Cylon, the humans will never win. And the last, the last gaming group that I had that played that game, uh, the moment that they would find out I was a Cylon, there was at least one player who would say, "All right, we're done." We, we got to the point to where um, I would only agree to play the game if he would agree not to quit if he found out I was a Cylon. Like, look, before we start this game, you have to agree to play the whole game when you find out I'm the bad guy. It's a game. They, 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 they did intrigue so well. The pacing of the game is great. Uh, like, since, since you're... The, what I was getting at is that since you... Uh, since there is an event every turn, cancel that, that's not ready. Since there's an event every turn that you need to vote on, even if it's not your turn, you are always engaged in it. So even though it's a very long game, the game will end and you'll look at the time and go, oh god, has it been that long? Because it doesn't feel, it's not a slow paced game. You don't have downtime between turns. Um, they did an, an excellent job of keeping the players engaged. It's one of the one of the many reasons why I I think it's one of the best board games I've ever played. It also one of the reasons I feel it's my one of my, my favorite board game is because they made it after you know they, they based it on a, an existing IP. Battlestar Galactica and managed to fit the theme of the TV show without sacrificing the game itself. Which is a very hard thing to do. Most of the time when you see a game that's based on something, they sacrifice 
the mechanics of the game to tie it into the theme. They, that does not happen at all in the game. They, the, the mechanics stand completely on their own. Uh, if you've never seen the TV show, it does not impact your playing of the game in any way. But if you have seen this TV show, then a lot of the references in it just are more meaningful. And you, granted, you're in a greater appreciation for how well they shoehorn the theme into uh, into a mechanically great game. I enjoy that game so much that I have no problem with hosting the game and not playing the game. Credit applied. Like, I'll just, you know, get a group of people who are interested in trying it out. I will spend six hours just walking around and, you know, teaching rules and, and uh, answering questions and just watching it be played because it's a, it's a cool game. It's great. It's, it's like watching an episode. Never know how it's going to turn out. Okay, let's save the cut. All right, where where do we cut? We cut. I think we've gotten away with going further back, but I think our traditional cuts were here. Valuable object accepted for processing. That is a cuttable titanium. Okay. Good to know. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Uh, you were asking if whether or not uh, Stargate had a lot of filler episodes. Um, I don't really think so. I mean, I, I think that they did a good job of, of both telling stories and world building at the same time. Uh, I think, I'm pretty sure this is stuck. That's gonna be annoying. The, wor the worst thing that, when I think of filler episodes, I think of um, clip shows, which I don't think, I don't think Stargate did, mu did many clip shows. That is freed up. We need to get this out of here. Like I will, as soon as I realize an episode is a clip show, I will skip that episode. They irritate me so badly. I don't care if there's a little bit of like connective tissue to connect all the clips together. It's not meaningful. Right, 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 right. I've been I've been rewatching my way through Andromeda lately, and they just a couple days ago there was a I ran I don't remember what episode it was, but I, it was a, it was clearly a clip show. Like, oh, these are just all scenes from previous episodes. All right, let's skip ahead to the next episode. Why are you no free? Thank you. And SG-1's a good example of a show that 
I feel that got past the, you know, maybe we should quit now, but then kept going and managed to kind of refresh itself and squeeze out a few extra seasons. You know, when they brought in um, Cameron Mitchell to replace uh, Jack O'Neill. It was kind of a Five soft left, reboot. And they good. actually pulled it off pretty well. Good. And I enjoyed Atlantis. I thought Atlantis was was, was a good spin-off. Um, I didn't watch Stargate Universe, which didn't got cancelled anyway, so I have not been encouraged to do so any after the fact. Warning. Fuel processing level. valuable Fuel deposit. Fuel supply. Credits transferred. The master jack. This whole thing might be stuck because of that voice being I think embedded into this housing. We're gonna free up the housing. Valuable it's object dangerous. Salvage gold met. There we go. Awards will be paid. We're gonna just try to pull this away. It's not like it's gonna take off so fast that we can't respond to it. Needs to be cut. I know that would free it up. You know, let's go do that. And... There it is, okay. Yeah, it's leaving the hoist behind, which is still embedded in, so we're gonna lose that hoist. Because it is one with the containment unit. We can try to shear it off. But clearly it's not gonna come free. And I think that the housing unit is more valuable to send into the uh, processor than it is to barge the whole thing. Shave it off. Sometimes an object can get away with being shaved without being destroyed. That's the way you do it. Salvage deposit registered. Okay, make sure there wasn't anything on. We got all the hoists, right? Very good. Um, but yeah, like I said, Stargate, uh, they introduced, I don't know the actor of, of um, Cameron Mitchell, but he was a good addition. They brought in uh, Claudia Black as um, Bala. He was a, she was a great addition. They did a good job of refreshing the... the One minute left on the clock, Cutter. One minute. The storylines and the characters, uh, while still progressing. And that could have easily gone wrong. Valuable object accepted for processing. But that goes back to the the you know original discussion of it's not easy as a you know as a creator to decide. Well, it's it's time to retire this. Is there you know are there still legs on it? It's 
sometimes it's done right, sometimes it's not. Seconds left, can't really do anything here. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Woo! All right. Ship's going pretty smoothly. We haven't had any big surprises. I would say we've got one and a half shifts left in it. We might be able to finish it on this shift. But it depends on how much we futz around with that the back half. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Today's weather report, clear and sunny, with a high of minus 270 degrees. Uh -huh. A high of minus 207 degrees. That, that's my favorite. My favorite line of hers. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your purchase. Fuel levels restored. Ah, uh, I only have 11 tethers left. I could have, I could have milked that for a little bit longer. We're gonna have to come back. Tethers. Aren't you? Object right. Credit deposited. Salvage secured. Credit I want to make sure I have enough tethers to start pulling the back end up before we have to run back up front. That's always just there's always a delay anyway. Once you start those tethers up, you have to wait for them to get where they're going. Deposit accepted for we can use that time to go back and get new tethers. I'm going to meltdown. Alright. Um, let's see here. A bunch of tethers for all of those. <clears throat> I think we're gonna. There we go. Start the uh, movement though. Leave the whole thing attached for the moment. Fins to remove, forgot about those. Credits transferred. Mm 
You know, we never take these thruster caps off and just pull the thrusters out. You know, they often get in the way when we're pulling the back half up. I mean, this doesn't feel faster, but if they're not in the way and we're not trying to... You know, we spend a lot of time trying to sardine them through that little opening. Maybe there is some value in doing this. Find out. Oh, I don't feel good about that one. Oh. Space billiards. Shy, come on out. Applying credit. All right, now those won't be in the way now. Always hit or miss with that. These end up going red. We two good ones there. Last of the tethers and go get some new ones. Caution. Yeah. Out of tethers. Not surprised that those were not good. Welcome Whoop. to Vendetron 9000. Thank you for your tethers restored. Say we're getting some pretty decent movement. Would have helped if I had cut this. I think I liberated the bottom part though. Object I did. Alright. Transferring credits. I don't want to fire it because I noticed the other one's in the way still. Not. Try it again. all over the place. All right, that came off quite nicely. In fact, I think I'm not going to bother with the fire bombs yet. I'm just going to throw this. That way we won't have anything below them when it comes time to shoot them to the barge. Salvage deposit confirmed. 
Deposit accepted for processing. I think we cut this one on the elbow. They changed it. Remember, we used there used to be a a little cubby hole. You get in, you get inside the little curve of the end plate, and you get a good cut on these. But now you're stuck all the way out here. of it. Alright. Someone was snacking under the engine. Haley must have been here. Pipe that we're avoiding right there. Okay. Hey Cutter, you've got five minutes left in this shift. Hope you're having fun. Valuable object process. Credit deposited. wasn't right. We'll have attached up here. I feel like we used to cut that a different way. Maybe not. Shot to the barge. Oh, we hit the uh, coolant. Time to go. Time to go, time to go. Thank you for joining us, Karate. Uh, keep an eye out. We'll be streaming this weekend. And, uh, join in. That'd be great to see you again. Have a great night. We'll be wrapping it after this ship's done anyway, so won't miss a whole lot. We got probably 15 minutes or so left in this. Obviously, we're not going to finish it in this shift. There won't be much left to do next shift. Account credit applied. In here. Thank you. Shut down for that coolant leak becomes a thing. We have a wall that needs out. Oh, excuse me. Everybody sick on the stream. Ooh. Don't blame me, the cutter is right handed.
that's one of the that's one of the subtleties that I like about um, Minecraft is that you can actually switch what handed your character is. My Minecraft character is left-handed. Because I play left-handed. Salvage destroyed. Please pay attention. Alright, Cutter. Time to wrap it up, okay? One minute left. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Out in a minute. Easy peasy. Not pulled the fuses yet, so we're not going to be removing that. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. Much junk in here. We don't need to get the asteroids out because those are going to go into the furnace anyway. <clears throat> the asteroids we got out were kind of in our way. 13.4 million on a late shift. Nice. I feel like it's taking a little bit longer to exit the shift. I mean, I know it's saving the ship. <clears throat> Times it seems to. Hello, ship breaker nine three four six dash fifty two. Take a little longer. Links would like to share the following inspirational message. Some people dream of great salvage, while other people get up every morning and make it happen. Other people get up every morning and make it happen. That's me. I make great salvage happen. Eating pie and taking names. I'm not going to make eating pie my thing, my stream thing. Imagine what that would do to my health. <laughs> Salvage deposit secured. Stream day, time to eat a pie. Salvage it just felt like an indulging... Very hard work days. Go back tomorrow. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Alright, let's see here. I we ejected one from the room. Be another Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Oh. Flag against the window. Button lights underneath her cursor. All right, so this end is done. Do a last check on it. All that stuff goes into the furnace. Furnace, 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 furnace. No door handles. Oh, we need before we we'll, we'll keep the mass for the moment because we need to push this 
No. Incorrect. Cut this down. We need to get the bridge out of the way. Or the coolant section. Salvage is secured. Applying credit. I'm not gonna start grabbing by the lights. We just we have way more time than we need in this shift, so the ones out of the way, they're in the way. Nice, didn't didn't bump a thing. Bring back this out cleanly. Oh, not the whole thing, this this thing. There we go. Not quite as clean as I would want him. The first little boop pushed the rooms as well. Alright, we are not gonna. We More than one time we've had this thing swing around and get eaten by the furnace. We're not gonna let that happen this time. Oh, wrong button. We're gonna do it this direction. We're gonna watch it like a hawk. Get that out of the way. Yeah, we didn't get our, our usual pew 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 in this one because I I goofed up the the uh, cockpit out of practice. We had stuff go everywhere. Kind of sad. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Our favorite part of the Processor ship. Deposit accepted. Credits awarded. There's definitely all door handles. Absolutely, definitely. There isn't one on these roofs. Cause it's the one right here that controls both of them. We'll slide this out from underneath the back end. We have both of the heating elements off the back, or coolant heat sink thingies. Now it's nothing to run into these. Yeah, nothing could go wrong there. <laughs> All these other barrels are floating in front of it. Let's uh let's tether it straight to the barge. Already broke your tethers. Deposit accepted. Credits transferred.
Alright, while that starts walking, let's uh, straight bits. Like all those, oh, there's our pew pews. I was thinking, like, I don't remember even bringing all, of, putting all those things in. You can pew pew. Make sure that I'm not going to run into other things. They're all over the place. Okay, that's going to be a little challenging to pew pew from here. They really scattered them all over creation, didn't they? Oh, that was dangerous. Yeah, I can't just pew pew all of them. They had to close the proximity. That was all the way in there. I mentioned that we didn't get to do that, and I was thinking back in my head, I'm like, I don't remember actually getting all those things that got thrown out. But I was talking about Doctor Who, so who knows what I did. You know, firing objects. Nope, I missed them all. Minor oversight. All right. It's the light. That's why I was moving so slowly. Free up that mass. Look how much faster it's going now. Applying credit to account. Alright. Ain't got anything else to do. Get moving. Five minutes left in the ship. Let's go, okay? big boy. Okay. Feels like it stopped. <laughs> As you're, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a new goal. <laughs> the regulars, the regulars from before, uh, before 1.0 would frequently get me talking whenever my fuel was low. It was like a mini game to see if they can get me to run out of fuel, and they succeeded on, on many occasions. Hey, Craig. I didn't see you come in there. <sighs> Welcome. We're, we're, uh, dreams are wrapping up soon. I don't know if you've been here the whole time, but uh, good to see you again. Yeah, we're... we're uh, normally I have sandwiches for, for the stream. Today I have apple pie. I think we're going to have to break these up. It's taking too long. We got all of them over here, though, so... Won't take long to get the rest in. Try to wait on him. But well, we're gonna race it. I bet I can get this one in before that one's all the way in.
We definitely don't apply the one tether rule to these guys. <laughs> it would it'd never get there. Oh, it's gonna be close. He's got more speed built up, but he's already in the capture zone. Valuable object accepted for processing. Mini me. Uh, the big one wins. All right, one last one last pass here. I think we are good. It was nice to wrap things up on a Heavy Cargo Gecko, our favorite. 99.5. I think it's also the best we did for uh, tonight. Whew. All right. Oh. Um, that's going to be it for the stream. Um, great to bring hard space back. I think it handled well for a midweek stream because you know, normally we <clears throat> we stream on the weekends, but on weekends we have a little bit more leeway on how long we can stream. You know, people don't necessarily have to work the next day. Um, Hello, ship breaker. For me, of course, that's going to be a weird thing for now on, or for the foreseeable future, because I work nights, so this is the start of the day for me. But, uh, I think this just worked out well as a midweek stream. It's always been our, you know, whenever we've played this in the past, it's been our main stream. Uh, but now that we're we're kind of in a main, maintaining mode of playing it and just trying to find those, uh, those other uh, posters and just, you know, just having fun with it. It seems uh, it seems like it's slotting in well for, uh, for a midweek stream, so we might do this again in the future. Uh, we'll see how things go. Uh, but I'm, I'm, glad that, I'm glad that we dusted it off and, uh, and played it. I think it worked out well. Uh, Saturday or Sunday will be Tortuga. I'm probably going to aim for Saturday. Uh, we'll see how things go. Uh, I might have... Uh, calendar. I might actually have an engagement Saturday. Yeah, okay. I'll, uh... I mean, as usual, I'll post it probably pretty late. <clears throat> but, uh... Uh, I would like to I would like to Tortuga on Saturday, but I think I have a I might have an engagement that I have to go to, so uh, we'll have to see what the timing is of that, and I'll post one way or another. Uh, I'm going to after this stream I'm going to heat up some food and eat, and probably do some uh, off camera uh, uh, Keystone. So if anybody. Anybody who's watching the stream has been interested in playing Keystone. I won't be on stream, but uh, you, know, you might be able to catch me in there if you want to. If you want to join in, uh, that's obvious who I am because it's Okada. <laughs> uh, but other than that, <clears throat> thank you very much for coming out. I'm, I'm glad we had so many people come back out for this. I'm glad to see there's still s such interest in it. It's very encouraging, and uh, it's wonderful to see a bunch of familiar names as well as some some uh, some new names to uh, card space. So that's that's wonderful. Uh, everyone have a great night. Uh, don't forget to like on the way out. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're all subscribed already. <laughs> um, and uh, see you probably next week or this coming weekend for uh, for Tortuga. So uh, catch you later.